Oh, my dog was acting up. <laughs> Goddamn dog. Okay, bottom lane looks like the starter may be a little bit in trouble. They do have a stun available. They'll go for the stun of the starter. Saving his crush, knowing that, you know, if he tries to go for a crush, he'll just use the rage. But you might as well just go for it, just to at least force out a little bit of mana. Just the fact that the offlane player likes to play starter a lot, and whether or not he's comfortable playing Weaver is the question, so... Plus, having a lot of support means that your blink initiation timing may be... It's like, it's like a... It's a mystery, right? You know, you could get a good timing if you get a lot of kill action early game. Get it around like 15 plus minutes, but... As an offlaner, you always make sure that you at least get it at a reasonable time. And now the lights on the bottom it will be run down. He is going to be dying here as one more hit comes out from Abil and that will secure the kill. So the starter picks up a little a little grab down. The lifestyle will be level 5 momentarily, so he's having a good time. Still keeping up with the lifestyle in terms of levels. And as long as he can do that, get a level 6 at the same time as the lifestyle or before that, then he will be able to continue this pressure um, well forever. <laughs> Top lane as well. The axe spin, spin spin came out. The OD went in with a haste rune and a little Astron will secure the last hit on that axe as he dies as well. Evos. All right, guys. Evos is now going to be on a move. They go in. They find the Shadow Fiend. They initiate on him. Astral. Oh, not quite that. They do have the kinetic field to keep him in place. He does turn around, trying a little bit of damage. He does bring down the wheel with a double raise, and the starter takes a lot of damage as well. They're trapped in the meantime. Will be taken down by the Centaur as well. So Ruby looks like one more hit is going to be all they need. They get the hit with the Centaur. They get two kills in return on side of Evos. As that rotation, that gang did not help. Dominate. kind of interesting that he wants to go for that in this game sure you know it's, it's not a bad item but it got nerfed so that's the, the the first thing is it got nerfed and the second thing is you know wouldn't you rather want to just go for treads than get your blink up early and then go for an omelet or something like that seems more logical axe in the top lane gets killed by the juggernaut using his arm actually Sound complete now as well. He is sitting on 1,000 gold, so actually not that far away. I mean, he will get a blink at a decent time this game, pretty much the same time as you would so you would imagine a support slaughter getting in. Now they get another kill on the slaughter as well. Speaking of of which, so uh, the slaughter's item timings. You know, he he was looking at these. Well, the weaver comes in to help and assist in this little killing spree, so they they get a support kill on the side of Ark. In the meantime, the life still is trying to. Ouch, ouch, pain, OD damage, pain, suffering. Have the lift available as well. They stun him, they stomp him, they be in trouble. But here comes the disrupt. Oh, the trouble gets jumped with the tone. He's not able to get his static storm off, which is what he tried to do. Very nice jump there from the axe, controlling and keeping everything fun and dandy for them. Axe in the meantime is going to be taken down alongside. Oh, the Rubik. Gets taken down first, the OD is taking a lot of damage in the meantime, the light still comes in, pops with his rage, tries to run him down, but not happening, the drone in the meantime goes for the armor slash, will get the first kill, and the light still is going to be all unknown, three people is already dead inside of RQ, kill for the side is going to be the only one still fighting, they have that healing ward, healing people back up, and now he will be run down, he will be controlled, armlet toggle one, will keep him alive, does he get another toggle off, looks like he will be alive for the moment, will go for this rage, fight back, but it's only going to be so much he can do, as you will be killed. Four people dead on the side of RQ as they only lost a disrupt on the side of EVO. So even though they are still they try, but I am very sure it's not going to be enough. And yeah, they just decide to TP away. In the meantime, bottom lane, the Shadow Fiend goes in, gets a two-man raise off, gets a kill on the Weaver. Looks like the OD is going to be the next one to fall, and indeed he will drop down as RQ Centaur. But this, they, they are the ones with the Centaur, so it was the Stampede being used. Senta will have his Akinans up very, very soon, though. That's going to be nice. Axe goes in, gets a nice jump. The Senta will survive for the moment. He does have a stomp available as well. We'll go for the stomp, but the Axe is already dead. Gets the stomp off. The Juggernaut is not going to be hit, but the Slada, they get hit. Time lapse comes up. And Life Still and Fest Bomb is coming out now. The Courier is delivering the Basher. Maybe they want to wait for that first, but looks like they're ready to go for a jump somewhere. And here they go. They go on the OD in the mid lane. And look at that blade mill damage doing work. I mean, I, I talked about those Astral shots onto the Axe just killing the OD. And indeed, that is going to be the case of blade mill doing a big part of that damage. Now they find another jump. They go in. 
time now to come south, and well, that is going to be a dead disruptor. So we may survive, but the rest of his teammates may not be so fortunate. Now they push the bottom lane on the side of RQ as there's not no buybacks available on any of the two years inside of Evos. They will lose one set of racks indefinitely here as there's no fortification either. So the tower drops down. The racks is going to be worked on 20 seconds before the ODs back up. They go for a shrine heal. Melorax will be taken down. Alright, lift comes out on the weave. Oh, this is not good. The weaver goes in 50 seconds on his death row as maybe a little bit too greedy the thing they didn't have any sentries put down after the tower dropped down but that was not the case the od is now back up they need to go in for initiation they need to stop this from happening the bkb shadow fiend okay a little bit in danger the uh, those those uh, illusions actually do a lot of damage the shadow fiend will still survive does have that agent available still axe gets taken down as shadow fiend goes in will survive does have his bkb available when he respawns he has to use it as well if he wants to live Goes for Requiem of Souls, will pop his BKB as well, will get a lot of damage done, the Slaughter will be taken down, the Juggernaut is going to be the next one to fall, as the Stampede came out, kept kept, kept them alive, OD goes in, pops his ultimate, Rubik will be killed from that, buyback comes up from the Juggernaut in the meantime, looks like RQ wants to back up, but no, they go for, they go for an Infest Bomb instantly, they get a jump, they get a kill on Disruptor, and now they walk themselves out, the OD in the meantime wants to go for a chase, wants to go on, the Centaur tries to kill him, oh, the OD gets time last, will survive, and now, Finn comes out from the Juggernaut in the meantime, he's trying to do his damage back, but the Juggernaut is going to be dropping down, and the Weaver is going to be dropping down as well. Nice initiation from the Centaur, stopping these guys from dropping. Life still still alive, barely, but alive. Looks like they have the ice on the prize, they want that OD as well, but they go back to pushing, the OD is the only one alive. Slot on the trouble back up in 5 seconds, the OD is going to be moving in from the back lines, maybe try and get a jump on the Shadow Fiend and kill him quickly but uh, Melorax and Rain Tracks is going to be dropping down just alike. Life still tries to go for TP out. Centaur goes in close to the OD maybe a little bit too close but now he walks himself away. Slot is going to be going for a chase same thing for the OD. They do have that glimpse available as well. Who did they glimpse? Do they get a glimpse on anyone? That's the question. Looks like that is going to be a no. Oh they get a glimpse on the Rubik. Alright so they get a Rubik kill. Maybe not the best kill in the world, but it's a, you know, a kill is a kill. They bought back the Jug, they lost the Juggernaut again, they lost Ling and that Helmet Dominator almost to force off the OD, just have his Hurricane fight completed now. And, well, that's pretty much it, so, in terms of items, looks like RQ, oh, they're just rocking the chart. Now they go into the mid lane, they try to find a jump, they get a jump on the Disruptor, he gets time lapse, but, I mean, you know, time lapse closer to the enemy doesn't really help you too much. Now comes the Stampede, they try to run them down, OD, do they not have the vision there? They run up, but he's going down, so they don't find him. To your, like overall to your team, okay. OD they missed the taunt, but they got the stomp. The OD does get time as he will be able to get himself astral off. Slot in the meantime, almost dropping down instantly to that life. The life and he's got himself a little bit away now because of that rage being on cooldown. He gets glimpsed back, gets controlled. He does have an infest available. Does he get the infest? He infests onto the shadow fiend. The shadow fiend will be alive. He goes out, he gets a rage, he gets a rage off. The OD and the juggernaut both drop down. GG gets called as Evos they lose two heroes instantly and they know this this is not happening anymore. Too much net worth inside of RQ. Not really the most brilliant initiation from RQ in the last fight. Missing the taunt. Almost losing the life still very, very quickly as well. But when you're 20,000 net worth ahead, you know, you can make small mistakes and still win the fights. So, uh, yeah. GG well played. It's going to be ending up with a 1-1 score. And that is it for me tonight, guys. I do not have any more casting to do. That's going to be a good...